Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we are going to be reviewing the Type 68 which is the brand new tier 9 in the new Japanese heavy tank line. This is a very good tank in my opinion. I really enjoyed grinding this tank. This is where in the line I really had to grind through the entire tank pretty much. I only could free XP about uh, the uh, beginning modules and then like I used about 70 free uh, 70,000 free experience to get the type 71 so I grinded about a hundred and fifty or so thousand experience in this tank and had quite a bit of fun playing the tank its uh, statistics we can go over here real quick we, we are sitting at 2173 HP with the HP buff your armor is 203 on your turret 105 on the sides of the turret 90 on the rear your hole is 127 on the front 120 on the sides and 100 on the rear DPM is sitting at 2,341. You got about a 10.25 second reload for your 400 alpha gun. 250 AP pin, 340 high explosive pin, I mean a heat pin, which is quite a bit. Um, 4.7 second aiming time and 0.364 dispersion. You're sitting at 6 degrees of gun depression with the uh, mobility module, uh, the mobility equipment, which is what I was running while I grinded this tank. You have 9 with... You can, and you can have 9 with the gun depression module. Uh, with the mobility module, your average speed is 34 kilometers an hour and top speed of 40. So that's the stats of the tank. And uh, running, I would say, for concerning running either the improved vertical stabilizer or improved suspension, again, this is kind of up to your play style, I would think. It's, I would think it's about 50-50 about which one was better. I mean, they're both so good. Improved suspension makes you go so fast, it's ridiculous. And improved vertical stabilizer gives you 9 degrees of gun depression, which is ridiculous. So yeah, I ran the improved suspension just because I figured mobility would be better. But honestly, I kind of in i think more situations needed the extra gun depression so yeah i think it's really up to you maybe try out both of them but they are definitely both very good attachments all right so we're going to be jumping into some battles in the tank now uh type 68 uh let's do i have so many battles recorded in this thing uh the the last one is a not a battle to for this video i think that's another one about an ape ape situation anyway um so yeah this was my first battle in the type 68 i believe let me turn down this volume so it's a little loud um we're gonna be heading to the medium site you can see running the mobility buff on this tank is so strong i mean look how quickly this tank goes so yeah like i said this is i'm pretty sure my first battle in the tank the second video i mean the second battle will be a higher damage game uh, just one of the better games I had in the tank, and this one is just going to be the first game I had in the tank, which I think is pretty decent um, anyway. Um, so, I always like to show these first battles quite often. I'm not going to be doing that with my Type 71, because my first Type 71 battle wasn't that very good, I think. Um, we'll have to wait and see. I kind of forgot how good uh, how I did in that battle. But yeah, so the Type 68, I think, play style of this tank is just, uh, just kind of similar to... Um, the uh tier 10 obviously and stuff it's just use your uh use your armor and your mobility to the best you can you're not having the most gun i mean you're not having the most dpm in this tank so you really got to watch out for that and now this tank is pretty well balanced i would say but it's i think i'm a little bit more overpowered in i mean i went 80 percent in 20 battles today it's a really good tank and it's a lot of fun to play so we're gonna side scrape up here we're gonna pop a shell into that is5 bouncing 400 pop some adrenaline here I mean, these two ISs are pretty isolated here, so they are going to be easily taken out by us. Uh, we do get pinned by the IS-3 right there, which honestly I was expecting a bounce right there, not going to lie. Um, and then we're going to try to angle up to this IS-5, we get a nice bounce from the IS-5. And then we are going to ape shoot his gun, uh, which sucks, so he is not dead yet. And so we are going to have to angle up to both these guys now. Angle up to the IS-3, we get a bounce from him, just wanted to get another shot into this IS-3. Get the clear on him, and we unfortunately bounce the side of the IS-5 right there. So now we have taken out three tanks over here, and they have taken out two tanks of ours. This Defender Mark One is on 52 HP though, so he is practically dead. So I want to go ahead and rush in and try to clear these meds as quick as possible because I am a heavy tank, and usually when a heavy tank rushes in on meds, uh, you know, with some team support, you can absolutely obliterate them uh, and form up some quite a good amount of damage. So we're up to 1700 damage right now. We got a type, uh, I mean, a T54 lightweight over here. We're, we're gonna pop a shot into get another bounce here. You can see we're up to 2.2k bounce damage, which is quite a lot. Uh, uh, 2.5k now. So yeah, this tank can bounce quite a lot against tier eights, especially, but even a lot of tier nines and quite a few tier tens. 
That M46 does get cleared. Now we have a T54 running away. We're going to aim in a shot on him. That was the, a nice auto aim pre-leading that shell right there. So we do get a nice easy clear on that guy. We're up to 3k damage now. And now we only have this WT and Skoda T57 left. Get a bounce from the Skoda. Get a shell into him. We're going to pop some adrenaline. Get another bounce. We're now 3.2k bounce damage, which is pretty OP. We're going to take that shot, but we're going to get a shot. We're not going to get a shot back. I forgot that shell absolutely aped out. Uh, don't even know what happened to that shell right there. And that unfortunately means we won't get any more damage this game. I remember that being very sad because that would have been a nice 400, 500 more damage, almost getting us to 4k. So that wasn't a bad first battle in the Type 68 at all. We still managed to get out 3.4k damage and we bounced 3.2k damage. I was really hoping this would be at least like a first class, but it was not surprisingly because uh, so many people, I guess, were playing this tank already, even when this was, you know, like the day it came out. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to be loading up one more battle here in the Type 68. I think which of these battles is better? I'm trying to think. I think this one is I think this one's better if I'm not mistaken. I believe this one is better. Oh, I think I remember this battle. Yes, this is a pretty fun battle. Um, <laughs> it shows how funny uh, your armor can be sometimes. All right, so we are um, going to go ahead and rush to the A side because we have that superior mobility. We're basically a medium tank mobility. Uh, this tank is pretty much that fast. So it's always fun to rush and go over the medium side and a heavy tank with really good mobility and just absolutely destroy them because you have much better armor generally, you know, a much bigger alpha, a lot more HP pull, and it can be a lot of fun. So we're going to go ahead and cross up to the bridge here and try to get into position as early as possible. We see the C cap is getting capped off to the right, so we know that there is tanks at the C cap on their team. Spot up this IS-5, and I decided to go ahead and YOLO him with the email because I know that this guy is going to be cleared out pretty quick, and I wanted to farm up a couple early shots. T95, I do hear that the T95 shoots, so I'm clear to poke here and snap a shell into the IS-5 for 422. Now we do have a T54E2 shark trying to poke us. He apes a shot, luckily, so we don't have to worry about getting pinned by him. Yemal right here has been quite a bit of uh, lost HP, so we want to try to support him. Uh, not sure at all where that shot went on the IS-5. That just completely aped out, and there's pretty much nothing I could do about it. I do see that there are some tanks behind us, so I really want to get rid of these medium tanks because they can be quite annoying later on in the game. So we're going to go ahead and rush back up the hill. And this is where the mobility the mobility equipment really comes in handy. I mean, we got up here so quickly, no other heavy tank pretty much can get up it. Can, could have gotten back up that hill so quickly. And that allows us to get an early shot off onto this FV301, making it much easier for us to clear this guy before this Jack Tiger gets taken out. So we pull down and we're able to get another shot in that we wouldn't have been able to without mobility. And these are what the situations where the mobility comes in very handy, but also the gun depression would have come in very handy right there, honestly, as well, if we couldn't have, because we would have been able to aim down and actually shoot him. So, you know, it's a very tr it's a very 50-50 trade-off, and it's hard to know which one to run. Uh, Jack Tiger gets taken out. We are now on a 5v5, but I am very confident that we would win this game at this point. We go in for an HE, and unfortunately it doesn't pin the Progetto, but he gets taken out by this Defender Mark 1 right here. I'm trying to eat some of the shots from the T54 here so that uh, the uh, Defender does not die. Get a nice hash shot and a love tap in, so we get 600 damage out on this guy. This shot for 400 as well, and this guy is now pretty low in HP, so we get another shot into him. Down to a one shot now. And so we're going to just try to face hug, him, face hug him here and try to keep as much HP as we can. Unfortunately, he does pin us right there and we do take him out. Probably should have let the defender take that guy out so I could have put my 400 alpha gun into the T95. T95 literally almost max rolls us because, you know, that's my luck. Great, isn't it? Uh, so we're going to try to circle this guy. Mobility coming in very clutch right here. And unfortunately... Um, I actually mess up kind of right here, and I'm going to bounce this guy because I thought I would be able to pin that, but he backed up and my gun aped out, and yeah, very sad. So T95 actually hits us, and then the T30 just completely whiffs his shot on me. M6 right here is poking, so I don't want to die to this guy. He shoots as well. The Defender Mark 1 gets that T95 kind of locked up over there, and he's actually going to die. And somehow, I survived this encounter. Um, completely aped shot on by the uh, T30, and then the M6 just decides not to even shoot me. And then we get another bounce from the T30, because why not, Wargaming? So, yeah, 
very lucky right here and allows us to farm up a lot more damage this game than we would have been able to previously. Put a nice snap into that T30 real quick without letting that M6 shoot us. So now that guy is going to be taken out trying to go for the kill on us. T30 shoots so we're able to pull around get another shot into him bringing the damage show up to 4.7k damage. Very nice game. Definitely shows the Type 68 can be a very strong tank on the battlefield, and especially how that mobility can work with the tank, and how the armor profile can get quite good bounces. So yeah, we're going to finish on 4.7k damage, one kill as well, and that is a first class. So that's the Type 68, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think it's a very good, strong Tier 9 tank that I think is decently balanced, but also pretty much pretty strong and definitely on the stronger side, I would say. Review will be out on the Type 71 pretty soon, either today or tomorrow, hopefully, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye.